look at this film, the level of artistry is pretty extraordinary. The idea was to find an environment that looked ravaged from a war, but yet had color, signs of life. I like the idea of doing a daytime science fiction movie because I felt like science fiction kind of went into the darkness, uh, went into the inside of spaceship holes, and I wanted to kind of bring it back out into the daylight. All right, Tet's coming in line in 30 seconds. Relaying coordinates now. Confirm visual. Joe Kaczynski truly is a visionary filmmaker. He's a world creator. The two words that I had from the very beginning of the project was a beautiful desolation. It's almost primordial Earth. It feels like Earth the way it maybe looked a million years ago. It has a haunting beauty to it. But against that rugged landscape, I wanted to bring a very clean, forward-looking technology. This is Jack Harper. I'm good to go. As an architect, Joe imagines things that are wild. The Sky Tower is a home built at 3,000 feet above the ground. Those designs are incredible. Joe filmed on top of volcano, cloud formation, sunrise, sunsets, and then he had those images projected, so that was the natural lighting. It was the clouds. It was, without a doubt, the most beautiful set I've ever shot on. Action. The bubble ship, it's just so cool. Every piece of it was so smooth and elegant. This great visual world. Stand down! From the sky tower to the bubble ship, ultimately is an emotional experience. It's extraordinary, and it's epic. Uh, 